Last time on Heroes of Sodor, the battles against the Diesel started. The Simis won the battle, and a mysterious figure appeared at the wheels of Diesel's head. Find out what happens next now. It was a busy day on the island of Soto, and Thomas was arriving at Brennan Box to drop off some some trucks. All right, Cranky, I brought the trucks, and I, and it, one of them has your favorite, Heavy Stone. <laughs> Thomas, you should have. <laughs> Jeez, Cranky, you seem happy today. Normally, you're, well, Cranky. Well, I'm happy today because we have a few new uh, recruits for the docks coming in today. Really? What kind of recruits are they? Are they like new engine? No, they're tugboats. They're coming in from a place called the Big City Port in America. When are they arriving? Let me look. I see one coming in now, Thomas. Why don't you go away and introduce yourself to them? Sounds like a good idea, Cranky. I'll just leave my trucks here. Uh, nothing like going to the docks on a nice sunny day like this. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. Whilst Thomas was singing, a tugboat popped out of the horizon and parked right next to him. Hello, is this Brenham Docks? Uh, yes. Also, uh, yeah, well, could you please stop looking at me creepily like that? Well, you're quite a little fella, aren't you? What? Well, I'm sorry, what'd you just call me? Oh, I'm sorry, was that offensive? Uh, yeah, in the kindest of ways, could you leave? Well, well, geez, that's not very nice. I came here all the way from America, and you're telling me to leave. Wait, you came from America? Well, of course I came from America, I'm from the big city. Yeah, I literally told him that five minutes ago. Shut up, Cranky! But okay, British boy. What makes you think I'm British? And also, even if I am, that, that is kind of offense. Look, I don't mean that as an offense, but your voice just kind of gives it away. But is that a disguise voice, or is that your real voice? Well, of course it's my real voice. What makes you think it's a disguise voice? Hey, no, now, now. It's okay to have a disguise voice. I mean, I have like 16 of them. What are you talking about? You want to hear some? No, I don't want to hear any. Okay, fine. Even though I have like 16. But what about you, Mr. Boat? Do you have any disguise voices? No, of Wait. Did you just call me Mr. Boat? Why, yes, isn't that your name? No, my name's Ten Cents. Can't you see it's on my side? Also, your name after the price I took to build you, eh? Oh, he just got violated. Shut up, Crane. Jeez, man, no need to get salty. I'm not being salty. And for and for for what you just said about me being named after the price I took to build me, no. Oh, well, it looks like that. Yo, why is that engine being a savage? No, no, I'm just gonna go over here. You and that crane need to be quiet. Uh, uh, I guess I'll see you later. What's your name? Thomas. Alright, I'll be right over here, Thomas. Whilst Ten Cent was standing there trying not to get too fired up, another big tugboat arrived right next to him. Oh, I see, Ten Cent, we're even, are we? It's about time you got here, Top Hat. And apparently this place is called Sodor. Soda? They named a railway after that disgusting beverage. No! No, it's not Soda. It's Sodor. Top Hat? So Dora. 
You idiot. Oh, I say it. And since don't you call me an idiot now, or I'll call you one. Hey, could you shut up over there? I'm trying to do nothing over here, woman. Quit interrupting me. What did that blue shrimp just call me? Blue shrimp. You want to go, fancy pants? Oh, yeah, so far. Let's go right now. Hey, watch it. You want to call me a woman again? Now, how about you call me small fry again? Banana boat. <gasps> Banana boat? Why, are you little? Stop it, you two. Hercules, thank God. Who is this dude? Excuse me? Uh, yeah, I am excusing you, Mr. Mustache. Uh, Top Hat Ten Cents, could, could you explain to me what is happening and why this engine's being a complete jerk? Honestly, I don't know. He said that, uh, my name is pretty much the price it took to build me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with him on that one there, Ten Cents. Well, I see. Look, I'm sorry, you three. I'm just in a bad mood. And I'm also kind of got a little bit of an ego going on because I just beat a whole bunch of rivals of mine a few days ago. Okay, then. Anyway, sorry again. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I got some work to do. I'll be back. Well, my dears, I'm going over here. It was nighttime at the docks. Hercules had already fell asleep. Top Hat and Ten Cents were about to, when they heard a mysterious chuffing sound. Oh no, please tell me it's not the tank engine again. I hope not, Ten Cents. I Are you? But right now, I need you to do something for me, and I need to do something to you for it to work. What do you mean? This. <laughs> Thomas was on his way back to Tidmouth Sheds when he heard the same chuffing sound. What the heck is that? <laughs> well, what the heck? Can you show yourself? <gasps> Timothy? Is that you? Yes, indeed, little brother. It's me. <laughs> Even though Thomas didn't want to, he had no choice but to follow his ghostly brother, Timothy. Soon, Timothy and Thomas arrived at Brendam Docks. <gasps> what did you do? Something like that didn't expect me to do. Uh, are they dead? Not exactly. They still have their faces, but they're invisible. <laughs> So you might want to hear this. Talk, my minions. Talk! Hello there, Thomas. <laughs> well, if it isn't the blue shrimp. <laughs> what, what, how, what, how? I just have so many questions. You'll have to answer those questions yourself then. Are you mad at Tim Morgan? to get these tongues back to normal. But you know what? I doubt you will. And if you don't, I'll, which I doubt you'll be able to anyway. But let's just say in this scenario you don't do it, which I'm pretty sure you won't, but anyway, if you uh, don't get them back to normal before, before sunrise, then they'll be dead. They'll be sunk, along with the other one. Oh. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, he said that he was able to control all of them except for one. So Top Hat and Ten Cents were, uh, were infected by his weird spell or whatever. But wait, he said he missed one. Hercules! Wait a minute, I gotta wake him up and warn him. Hercules, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, what's going on, Thomas Medea? What happened? Uh, yeah, you might want to look and see for yourself. Okay, the... What happened to Top Hat and Ten Cents? I don't know, but we need to get them back to normal. And we have until, we have until sunrise to do it. And do you have any ideas? You're the, you're, I heard the, like, from, like, uh, Scotton Hat when he told me about some of the, some of the newcomers that are going to be arriving on Sildor that, like, there was like a tugboat that looked like you. He mentioned something like you, and he said that like you were one of the smarter ones. So do you have any ideas, Hercules? Actually, I do. I remember earlier today meeting one of your little friends. I think his name was Percy or something. He said that like he was able to like uh, make stuff to like help engines carry stuff, and yeah, help engines carry stuff. What? I have no idea what you're saying, but. If that's the case, maybe he can make like a poltergeist and get the weird spell off of Ten Cents and Top Hat. If they come close to you, try your best to block them off. I'll be back. Alright, bye Thomas. George and Bulgy, the anti-railroad vehicles, were just standing there talking about how they could find a way to win next time. When suddenly... What the heck? Uh, how did I move like that? I don't know, but I thought I saw a blue streak that sped by. But do you know what I'm talking about? No, all I know is that I got bumped off course. Alright, I guess it was just me. Thomas was just about to head over to Hong Kong Tech and he saw Percy in the middle of the line. Percy, what are you doing here? I saw everything, and I can help you. How did you see everything? You weren't even there. CCTV footage. I've set up a few uh, security cams all around the island. How the heck did you accomplish that? Look at this. Wait, so you're basically Doc Ock from Spider-Man. I guess. <laughs> So that's what Hercules meant when he said you made something to help engines carry stuff. Yep. How did you even accomplish to make that without having hands? Oh yeah, a few of the retired workmen who used to work here on the railway helped me out. And how did you come up with how to make that? We're running out of time here, Thomas. Uh, let's just not ask questions. Like we need to get the we need to get the tugs back to normal now. All right. Around five hours later, just before dawn was about to break, Percy arrived back to Thomas. I just finished making something that could help get the spell off the tugs. And what is it? This. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Percy. What the heck even is that? It's a poltergeist. It, it can help suck out the uh, spell off of the tugs. That's just a square. Yes, but the white part is the part that helps, uh, that helps suck the, the, the spell off the tugs, and then they'll be back to normal. Okay, I guess. Well, uh, let, let's get over there, I guess. Uh, agreed. When the two arrived at the docks, th things had gone for the worst. The controlled top hat and ten cents had Hercules cornered. And we're slowly closing in on him, causing him to get closer to the land, and sooner get stuck and possibly sick. Alright, Percy, I don't know how your plan works, but we gotta do it now! Alright, hey, Top Hat, Ten Cents, get over here! The two tugs are rushing towards them. Percy, now! Oh. The 
Did you just snap their wheelhouses? Are, are they all right? Just let the word happen. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my, what even happened? It worked! Woohoo! They then heard the ghostly whistle again. <laughs> Timothy re-emerged. You may have won this time, but next time it won't be as easy. Yeah, 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 whatever. And Timothy pulled away. Hello, my dears. I'm back. What even happened? Thomas and Percy explained everything. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, same here, thanks. If that had lasted much longer, I'd be under the water right now like a Titanic. That's not funny, but okay. Okay, come on, you gotta admit it was a little funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess, okay. But at least we have YouTube back, and as I said, sorry about earlier today. Ah, uh, it's fine. No one cares. Right, guys? Hmm. Right? Ugh, fine. Everyone was very happy. Alright, so you two say you have a tits. I do, but I don't know about the other one. Well, I guess the other one could terrorize the world a little bit. I mean, uh, it is around that time, you know. <laughs>